Don't call here. We've got your boarding passes. Another one for Reborn City, huh? They sure have been pushing that new league. Let's see. Oh, which one of these was it? This is you, huh? Certainly looks like it. And what was your name again? You said Mystic Girl, right? Got it. Then, uh, just to be sure, for gender, I should put... Right. One sec, I'll handle the rest of this. There, all set. Just between you, me, and the old battered fence post, I hear Reborn said he's kind of a dump. Why anyone would want to go there is beyond me. And yet, a bunch of you ambitious trainer-type folk have been heading out in droves. But off you go now. The train's leaving any minute. And with that, welcome, ladies and gents, to Pokemon Reborn. I'm Earl from Pokemon Awesome, and this is a fan game that's got quite a lot of content, and as per the warning at the start, a lot of uh, M-rated material, so if you ignore that warning, take it from me, if certain, certain subjects are too squeamish for you, turn back now. So, we can view the controls, um, these are basically the controls that I'll be using, I'm not going to change them up at all, uh, it, but you can configure them however you want, but aside from that, this is, um, to put things in perspective, this is a game, it's been in development for a while now, um, it has episodic releases every year or so. Uh, this is currently episode uh, 17 of the um, the full game, and I played through it uh, throughout back when uh, episode 16 was the first one, was the uh, most recent release. But I've yet to play 17, and I figured, well, why not do the Let's Play to uh, go through that part blind, and since episode 17 introduces a lot of new content as well, such as Generation 7, might as well go through the whole game again, and see what's new from what I can remember. So, uh, this whole opening sequence, this is new. I know that f that much. Um, I, I did see this during all the uh, test recordings that I did, and, as well as when um, it was announced that this was the uh, opening cinematic. Uh, basically, instead of having the usual, uh, Welcome to the world of Pokemon! My name is Fre Professor Oak, or Professor Tree! Uh, instead, we get on a train to the uh, Reborn region. And uh, this character here is the um, pretty much going to be our guide, kind of like how Professor Oak introduces himself in Red and Blue and all that. Uh, she's basically going to set us up with uh, everything that we need. So, it, it's... Um, it's implied that she spoke to all the other five trainers here. These are actually the uh, other options we had when we could choose who we um, were going to have as our player character. Uh, but we won't be seeing them for long. Uh, so anyways, this is AIM. She's uh, basically the main creator of this game. She, she, And uh, this is pretty much the role that she put herself in. Kind of like a creator cameo type deal. Uh... She, she's basically the uh, the head of the whole Reborn League, and um, yeah, she's basically just telling us about the Reborn region and all of that. But um, something is gonna turn up in just a moment here. So Grandview Station, this is uh, gonna be that's our destination. 
but um, yeah, as you can see, we've got a little uh, ghost behind us, and if you you uh, were pretty eagle-eyed, you could probably saw an Absol in that cinematic with the train moving. And if uh, you know you know Absol and its lore, yeah, something's not right. So, yep. She just left those other five to die, and she saved us. So, yeah, basically we're getting woken up by AIM here. And, uh, yeah, this place has seen, um, has seen better days. Train exploded right as we pulled into the station. So, yeah, just glad I could get us out of there in time, but everyone else... Hmm. Yep, they're, uh, they're dead. And... In comes... Julia! So, um... <laughs> basically, Julia is, uh... Going, she's one of the gym leaders, and she... Kinda has a penchant for explosions. You'll, figure, you'll see that once we, um... Get more into the game. But, um... Yeah, apparently this was a planned terrorist attack, but there's, uh, we'll get into that as we, uh, move on. So, unfortunately, AIM has to, uh, leave to take care of this whole incident, and, uh, we'll be, have to make our way to the Grand Hall in the, in, on our own. So, Julie asks if we're gonna join the Pope go for the uh, Reborn League, which we are, and she introduces herself as the uh, gym leader for um, the Electric type. So uh, before we go any further, right here, we get a normal gym. Uh, yeah, it's basically just a normal gym. People should, we should know what that does for now. But uh, yeah, here, this is the, uh, the trainer card. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of badges. In fact, there's one badge for every type in the game. So, yeah. 18 badges. Not all of them are available as of this release. Um, I think we only have 16 available. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, this won't be a complete playthrough. It'll be as complete as it can be up to the end. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that the uh, numbers in each of these little slots, those are basically your level limits. Um, granted, you can go above that those levels, it's just that no matter what Pokemon it is, it will dis disobey you as if it was a traded Pokemon. Uh, that's just to give uh, a little bit of difficulty to uh, this game. So, uh, yeah, we have a kind of a slow slog to our destination don't have any running shoes yet. We'll be getting those shortly. Uh, now, if we actually uh, talk to this girl here, you were on the train that exploded? But so was my fiancé. Yeah. So, this game, it, it, it can get pretty dark at times, and um, that train explosion, yeah, nowhere close to some of the stuff that can happen in this game. Uh, so if we talk to this, uh, girl here, she'll give us a potion. So, free potion's always nice. And, uh, Grand Hall is actually right here. So, it's not that far, it's just this short trip down the road. And, uh, we're supposed to talk to this person, Victoria. And she'll basically bring us into the Grand Hall to get us set up for the Reborn League. So, Grand Hall, it's basically a Pokemon Center, Pokemon, and 
the registration desk all in one. And, um... We're about to, uh, get to choose our starter Pokémon. So, for a fan game like this, what could the starter Pokémon we have be? Well, I did say that we got get up to Generation 7 with this latest release, but why have only three Pokémon to choose from? Yeah, you can choose any one of the starters from any generation. So, you've got the Grass Stars on the green table, Fire on the red, Water on the blue, uh, you got your Gen 1 here, Gen 2, Gen 3, all the way to Gen 7. So, uh, normally, uh, in my own personal playthrough, I chose Froakie, because uh, Protean Greninja is pretty busted in this game, not gonna lie. Uh, but for the sake of um, changing things up a bit, I've decided to uh, go with something a little bit different. In fact, we're gonna go with the best starter at, as I was saying, the best starter ever. That's right, we're starting, I've decided we're gonna start off with a uh, Rowlet here. Uh, this is just something that I decided to do because, what can I say, I like Rowlet. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna bother doing any nicknames. This isn't going to be a Nuzlocke uh, challenge. Uh, because that that just be suicide. <laughs> but um, one thing about all the uh, Pokemon is that uh, shiny chances are higher than usual, uh, and there are custom shinies instead of uh, the usual shinies that you're probably used to in the in the uh, actual games. Um, and hidden abilities you can actually get uh, just regularly, as if it was just a third ability slot that they have. Uh, so if we do end up getting long reach, that'd be great. Oh, we did. Nice. And we got the mild nature. Uh, for some reason, they sw switched the, um, the red and blue on the uh, boosted stat, lowered stat. But uh, that's fine. So, yeah, that's actually not that bad. Although, the IVs could be better. Yeah, they actually made it so you can view EVs and IVs in the game. Uh, from the screen, but, uh, no, it's not, not too terrible, I, it's, it's doable, um, so, yeah, and then, standard level 5 startup, and I just realized we have a female Rowlet, holy crap, <laughs> okay, um, oh, yeah, so, one thing I want to mention, this chain starter, this is actually, uh, part of a mod kit that I have installed, so, excuse me, <coughs> Uh, yeah, I am going to be playing with a few mods just so that I can show off as much uh, content as possible. Uh, because there are a few mods that will help me do that just to make things easier in case you guys want to go through this game. And, and um, there are some Pokemon that you want to get because there's a lot of uh, Pokemon that you can get through events that are reliant on certain factors. And with the mods, I can just um, set those factors to uh, what they are. Uh, mostly weather related, but um, another another uh, mod I have is uh, related to time. Basically, I usually only do these recordings at night, and there are Pokemon that I want to try to use that I can only get during the day. The uh, game usually goes off your uh, computer's clock for a uh, date for uh, the time based events for morning, day, night. Uh, the mod I have basically changes it every uh, so often so that you go and cycle through each day at, as uh, the game progresses. That, that's what when you saw the, um, the time in the day on, in the top left corner, that's what that mod was. Yeah, the fi 5 o'clock Friday, that's ba basically saying it's um, 5 o'clock in the morning on Friday, even though right now it's only... Uh, 10 o'clock at night on Thursday. Um, but yeah, this, uh, where it says, uh, change starter, that's actually another mod. Um, this isn't one that I'm going to be using, but basically it allows me, if I wanted to, I could say, have my starter Pokemon be Arceus or Mewtwo. And I would just choose Pokemon, I'd type in the name, and it would just give me that. 
but we're not going to cheat that way. Um, but yeah, so oh, actually, now that I think about it, starting with a grass type, given the first couple of fights that we have, ooh, I may have made a big mistake, but we'll roll with it. Alright, so once we're done, we'll uh, talk to AIM, and now it's uh, Victoria's turn. Uh, she's going to uh, select her starter Pokemon, and um, as she's doing that, <laughs> we get hit on. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is, um, this is, a uh, Kane. Uh, he, he's one of our rivals, uh, as you saw in the trailer, uh, and, uh, he's probably one of my favorite characters in this game. He's, I will say, say it right now, he's pansexual, so he, ba and basically everything out of his mouth is, is an innuendo of some kind, so, yeah, <laughs> but it's not the, it, it's not like, um, it, an, an annoying kind of, uh, character, it's more like how Quagmire from Family Guy makes you laugh, it's similar to that. Uh, okay, so this is our first battle. It's against our rival. We got Kane with his uh, Nidoran and male. And, uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Unfortunately, we, uh, we won't be able to use our uh, leafage. That's going to be uh, weaker than our tackle. In fact, I may want to growl to um, reduce the damage because we're taking a little quite a bit of damage, all because of that, um, minus defense nature. And, uh, yeah, we're still taking quite a bit of damage, but we do have that potion, thankfully. I think I'm gonna pop that now. Alright. Uh, there it is. Alright, yeah. Four damage instead of the six damage we were taking. That's, uh, manageable. Alright, we're just about finished off here. Yeah. And, uh, another thing I should mention, um, pretty much 90% of the music for, for this game, it's made by, uh, Glitch X City, uh, pretty renowned, uh, music uh, remixer in the Pokemon community. You can find her on uh, YouTube. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below. Uh, but yeah, we did get a level up from that, which is uh, nice. That's going to help us in the uh, next upcoming fight. So yeah, in case you guys didn't, didn't uh, figure it out, Vic Victoria is going to be another, um, another rival of ours. Again, if you saw the uh, trailer I put up, that, that was kind of obvious. So here we uh, just go straight to the Pokemon Center part of the Grand Hall, and uh, Victoria comes in. Sorry, I kind of stole Mr. Girl. <laughs> okay, and I forgot you were coming by. <laughs> Had some fun. Yeah, fun. Giggity giggity. All right. <laughs> I didn't know you were like that. <laughs> Yeah, some of the some of the uh, the dialogue in this can uh, get some laughs out of you, despite the uh, whole dark storyline that it usually has. All right, so from here, Kane goes off with aim, and uh, now it's time to battle Victoria. All right, time to find her fucking Tepig. Oh, they changed it! Okay! So, yeah, uh... Back before, uh... This, uh, episode 17 release, uh, she would... You picked Tepic as her starter. But, uh, now I guess they're giving her Litten. Okay, nice. And, <laughs> it's a female, too. Holy crap! <laughs> so, huh, I wonder, if they gave her Litten, does that mean... 
the same for Kane and... Huh. Alright, well... We'll think more about that later on. Um, well, we're still taking 5 damage from that. But we should be able to take, take it out relatively quickly. Unfortunately, we don't have another potion. And we seem to be slow. Oh, that's bad. This is bad. Or not. We might actually win this. As long as it's not another critical hit. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was a little nerve-wracking, but we get another level up from that, and we're close to another one, so, yeah, this is a great way to get a level 7 starter, basically. <laughs> Alright, here comes Kane. So, basically, we're, we've all signed up for the Reborn League, and, uh, now, we're just gonna go back to see Aim, and she's gonna give us basically everything we need for what we're going to do. So first a Pokedex, Poke Gear, and the running shoes. So normally we could hold down the uh, the space bar to run around, but we can actually press the uh, the S key on the keyboard to basically uh toggle it on and off. And here Victoria will give us uh, five free Pokeballs as is the standard. So yeah, walking, running! Alright, so uh, this vendor, he's going to give us, or sell us, common candies. This actually lowers the level of a Pokemon. Uh, this can be very invaluable based on that whole level um, difficulty that I had mentioned before, so that if you have a Pokemon that goes beyond the uh, cap that your badges allow your Pokemon to obey you at, you can uh, bring it down a peg to allow it to um, basically obey you. Uh, naturally, it will lose the stats, but not. I, I don't think it will lose any of the, uh, the EVs that it gains or any moves that it may have learned. It shouldn't, at least, because it's been so long since I actually used a common candy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're not going to buy any right now because we don't really need them. Uh, instead, we're going to buy uh, some more Pokeballs. I'm going to buy 10 so that we get our Premier Ball as well. Um, I'm going to buy two potions. Uh, I should probably buy some antidotes, but I'm not going to right now. And if we uh, check the PC. Don't want the uh, Pokemon PC. We want the item PC because there's a potion in there waiting for us as well. Unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, get that before the uh, two battles with uh, Cannon uh, Victoria because it was all a uh, scripted cutscene. Now uh, this fisherman here, he's willing to sell us a uh, Pokemon for five hundred dollars. Gee, I wonder what it could be. Alright, give me that, um, magic, oh. I believe we just got hoodwinked. Oh well. So yeah, this is basically the start of a, uh, side quest that pretty much expands the entire length of the game, and they, if I recall correctly, they finally um, put in the uh, the final part of the side quest in this uh, release, so it won't be for a long while before we get that Magikarp, and um, unfortunately that's the only time we can get Magikarp, so yeah. Alright, so as we leave, we get this little cutscene with, uh, AIM coming down to the interrogation. Uh, so basically this is the, uh, guy that's gonna talk about the, uh, that explosion with the train. 
and uh, <laughs> this Torkoal is going to uh, give him some, uh, let's say, roasted nuts. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you could say he's in the hot seat. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, as you can see, we've got this, uh, girl here with a snubble blocking our way. We're not gonna bother with that right now. Instead, what I'm going to do is show off one of those, uh, mods that we had, that I mentioned. And I'm just gonna make it a clear weather just to get rid of the rain so that it's not, um, causing any, uh, lag or anything like that. That is an issue that's been known with the game. And, uh, over here we actually have some grass. And, uh, if I can get some to spawn. Get an Ekans, it's not what I was looking for, unfortunately. In fact, I should probably, uh, bring this up. So, we have some of... I'm gonna go ahead and put down some object... Bleh, some objectives here. Uh, so, explore, reborn, region, gather, team of Pokemon. As you can see, I'm actually uh, doing something different compared to what I did with the uh, Pokemon Train Card game uh, Let's Play. Uh, with that, I actually used um, Flashback Express while just recording on the back of my, de my uh, wall desktop. Uh, and then Jamie's like, hey, why don't you check out OBS? It's a lot easier and better to use. And I said, okay, sure, I'll check it out. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I actually like OBS now, so that's what I'm going to be using. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, a Bidoof was the thing that I wanted the most out of these things. Not the Ekans, not the Rattata, Bidoof. Now, unfortunately, some changes from um, Generation 7 haven't been made to uh, this release, such as the, um, uh, experience when you, uh, catch a Pokemon, you still gain experience. That was Gen 6, actually. Or, when you cap catch a Pokemon, you can choose to add to your party or put it in a box when you have a full team already. Uh, so that's, um, I believe that's gonna be in the next release. Uh, as well as any Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon changes, such as, uh, like the newer Pokemon they had, like, uh, Dust Light and Rock, uh, Blacephalon, Stakataka, and, um, any of the move tutors from that. Alright, I didn't even bother to check to see if, uh, this Bidoof had Simple. I hope to God it does. It has Unaware. I can make it work. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be making this a uh, permanent team member or anything. There is a reason why I got uh, Bidoof. That is uh, because he learns Headbutt. And there's actually quite a few Pokemon that are available through Headbutt that I kind of want to use. And you're probably asking, where do you use Headbutt? Well, it's actually these trees right here. 
Pokemon could be in the stream and Pokemon could shake it. Unfortunately, we don't have Headbutt yet, so we're just basically going to grind up this Bidoof so that he does get Headbutt. Uh, to do that, we're going to battle this uh, trainer here. Techie Jonathan with his Young Goose. Now, unfortunately, our Bidoof isn't going to be doing anything to this Young Goose, so no, we don't want that. We're going to switch in Rowlet. And let him do the fight. Or her, I should say. And another thing is that uh, most of some of the uh, attack animations aren't in the game yet, such as for Leafage, as you can see. It's using the same animation as Tackle. Uh, that's also going to be included in the uh, next update for uh, Episode 18. Alright, we got a level up from that, and Rowlet learned Peck. That's going to add some more utility to our attack options. Uh, let's actually just rearrange these a bit. There we go. Alright, so now, uh, yeah, let's finally talk to um, this girl here. And Snubble, her Snubble just runs away. So, she's basically saying that Snubble became level 21, but she only has uh, two badges, so that... It, or no, she actually doesn't have any badges, so she, the uh, Snubble won't uh, obey her. Now, this is actually part of an event. Uh, most events like this usually have one of two Pokemon that it can be, and it's usually decided uh, as soon as you start up the game. Um, or start up the file, I should say. Uh, if not Snubble, this could have been a Stuffle, if uh, I recall from the uh, release notes. Now, we have a lot of trainers that we can fight here, such as this guy. And he's going to come at us with another Bidoof. Now, this could be uh, very good or very bad. All depending on what this Bidoof has for its ability. It's going to be very bad. Yeah, uh, Moody can actually be really useful if you do ever want to use a B-Barrel for the, for the game, but... I honestly wouldn't recommend it. I'd keep him as a, uh, kind of like an HM slave. Or in our case, he's just going to be a headbutt user. Alright, Bidu got to level 4 there. Alright, so because we beat him, we'll be able to pass, but I'm just going to go ahead and heal up real quick. Um, we do get experience here in the game, but it's not for a uh, long while. And it's the uh, the hold item variant, not the key item variant that you can get in 
and start getting into Generation 6, where it spreads across the entire party. Um, I think I prefer it that way, so it's not, um, it's not overly, uh, breaking the game. Alright. So yeah, she's got an Alolan Meowth. We'll be seeing uh, Alolan forms a lot throughout the game. Uh, I also plan on using some. And, uh, yeah, that takes care of that one. Alright, so up here, we've got another um, event Pokemon. It looks like Zigzagoon this time. It could either be Zigzagoon or Pachirisu. Uh, with it being Zigzagoon, that's actually really good because I kind of wanted it to be Zigzagoon for a couple of reasons. One of which being it also learns Headbutt, so I can actually use that alongside uh, Bidoof. And I don't know why I just switched into a Grass type. Yeah, I should have picked up those antidotes instead of getting hoodwink like that. So again, truly matters. At the very least, we do have long reach, so um, if anything, this trubbish, if it, it might have aftermath, it won't affect us. Thanks to uh, long reach's um, effect. It's good timing, too, for, uh, Long Reach, anyways, because, uh, I believe they just released that, those, uh, events through Pokemon Bank, where you can get the, um, the Lola starters with their, uh, hidden abilities, or at least their fully evolved forms. So you get the, um, you get Long Reach on Decidueye, you get Incineroar with Intimidate, and you get, um... Was it liquid voice with uh, Primarina? All right, so I'm just gonna go back and heal. Expect this a lot in this uh, area. Just running back to heal if you don't want to waste any of your potions. Thankfully, it's all right here in the uh, opening area. All right, I'm actually gonna check and see if I can just get anything else. Yeah, not enough for another potion, but. I think that Trubbish was the only poison type we'll be coming across right now. Yeah, okay. So, we're okay on that front. Now, let's go ahead and rescue that Zigzag Goon. Uh, thankfully, we do have Beedoof because it is going to be a double battle, as you may have uh, figured out with the uh, two trainers there. And, oh! An antidote right here, okay. Would have been useful if I had checked it earlier. Alright, so they're basically trying to threaten this zigzag goon by tossing it into the uh the toxic uh lake there. Um yeah, unless you're a grimer, you're not surviving that. We got Romantis and Mud Bray. Uh, luckily we have ways to deal with both. I'm going to focus down the Mud Bray just to uh, be on the safe side. Yeah, because if it's using Mud Slap, that could be an uh, issue with what you do in the long run. And you missed. Great. Alright, I guess you can go for after that for Mantis. Took out the mud beret at least. Alright, that's great. And Peck should be able to take out the Formantis. Yep, okay. Level 7 with Bidoof. this Zigzagoon going to have for its ability. I hope it's Pickup. Quick Feet. Ugh. 
Well, again, it's not like I plan on using Zigzagoon right all throughout. He's more of just going to be kind of like a HM slave. Alright, let's continue onward. <coughs> Excuse me! Alright, so we've got a Bunnelby here. I'm just gonna switch into Rowlet. Just, uh, take this thing out. Not capable of one-shotting things yet. Not that I was expecting to. I think there's maybe two or three more trainers left for us to uh, fight as we continue onwards. So yeah, we're just gonna press onwards. Uh, as you can see, um, areas are blocked off because we're not supposed to go there yet. Is there anything here? Yes, there is. An awakening. I don't think this is going to be anything that puts us to sleep yet. Except maybe this Let's Play. <laughs> Self-deprecation at its finest. Here we got a napalm. This could be uh, interesting. Before doing all this recording, I was talking with uh, Jamie about um, how we should, how uh, I should go about this. I did ask him if uh, his opinion on which um, trainer I would use to uh, play through the the, uh, the game as, and he's like, "Pick a female, pick a female. It, it'll be funny." And I'm like, eh, "Yeah, I could. I think I will." But then, but then I realized, but wait, Jamie's not the one playing this game. I am. So, sorry, Jamie. <laughs> Alright, that takes care of that. We got one more. Um, luckily, we don't have to immediately fight him. So, we're going to take advantage of that and heal up. And I th think we're actually just going to box Zigzagoon right now. If he had pickup, we would have kept him, but he doesn't have pickup, unfortunately, and I don't know when the next ability capsule is going to be, and we got it back to raining. Eh, yeah, screw it. Alright, talk to you. And he's got a bell sprout. We should be able to take care of this with b -doof. Tackle. And I think we get rollout next level up, which will be uh, nice. Alright. Yeah, we can we can uh, take care of the spells problem. No problem. One thing you will notice is that uh, with uh, the first Let's Play for uh, Pokemon TCG, uh, I did kind of keep those videos to 30-minute uh, uh, episodes, except for that one time where we uh, cut things short. Uh, I am going uh, a little bit beyond that for this uh, Let's Play because there's just so much to do in these games, and um, I want to try to get as much content in, in each video as possible. So, uh, let me just check my, uh, money here. Okay, yeah, we have enough. So, um, as we go up here, we have this guy here. He's basically gonna ask for 50 bucks. Uh, if we do this three times, he will move out of the way. Which allows us to come down here. Is there anything there? No. Anything here? No. Here... And in this house, we've got a Mancino. Uh, this is another event. It could be a Mancino or an Esper. I was honestly hoping for Esper, but um, we don't have the item that we need for that just yet. We'll be getting that in a short moment, though. Uh, in the
meantime, uh, we have this trainer here. You may recognize her from the trailer where she uh, walked up to us. And she's actually got two Pokemon, first of which is a Cluffa. And if memory serves, it likes to use Encore, which will be fun, fun, fun. So, yeah, it basically just encored itself to death. Not before getting a pound in. Oh no, three damage. Okay. Alright, there we go. Oh no, rollout's level nine, okay. And Panpour. Switch over to Rowling. Might as well just get the uh, super effective damage in. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Uh, that's about it for the trainers down here. Uh, but we have this guy. Over of sad. Must have lived a sad life. <laughs> okay, I think we can take this up in stage, no problem. Or maybe not. Uh, it would... <laughs> Luckily, we don't have to run all the way back to the Grand Hall to heal up. Uh, there is a Pokemon Center nearby. Uh, I'll show that up after this battle. Although I think there will be one more battle before we get there. Not to go the long way. Alright. Uh, yeah. I think what we want is in here. Yeah, nothing in there. Yes! Pokesax. This is a item exclusive to this game. Uh, it's basically something that can be used to uh, increase happiness, or it's used to gather quite a bit of the um, event Pokemon. Uh, case in point, the Mangino we saw in here will join us if we have the, um, Pokesnacks. Uh, luckily, it does not use up the Pokesnacks. Uh, so that's always a good thing. Let me see what this Minchino has. Impish nature. Technician? Eh. Could be worse. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think a shiny stone is available for a long time. So, Minchino's not too useful at this point. Um, I wonder, is... No, it's not a thunderstorm. So, there's a difference between this uh, current rain weather and a uh, different weather called a thunderstorm that will allow uh, Pokemon to appear up by those uh, radio dishes. And I'm actually going to... Um, Box. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't want to change the thun thun to a thunderstorm just yet because the uh, the Pokemon that's available it's uh gonna be pretty high level. Alright, so here we've got more, um, of these baby fairy types. Tackle. Ah, cute charm. Oh no. Fight through it. Your 
a friggin' Beedoof, you should be oblivious to to this. Okay, this is ridiculous. We'll give it one more try. If it doesn't work, we'll switch and roll it. <sighs> yep. Boy, am I glad Beedoof is not going to be a permanent party member. I will say this, though. This is the, um... Possibly the longest time that I've actually used a Beedoof in any game, uh, fan game or otherwise. <laughs> All right, a Duckling. So Beedoof at least get some of that experience. Like I was saying, let Bidoof get some of that experience. Uh, I think he learns Headbutt at level 13, so... It's gonna be a while before we, uh, see any usage of that. It might even be next episode, based on the, uh, recording time I've got going on here. Alright, uh, let's go heal back up. And I'm changing this weather to clear. Again. This rain is just uh, annoying to deal with right now. Alright. Um, I believe with the Poké Snacks in hand, we can investigate this dumpster. And we've got a level 10 Gulpin attacking us. Um. Yeah, this is interesting. Now, there is a poison type available to us now that I do want to pick up. Um, Gulpin isn't it, unfortunately, but I'll, I'll still catch it. Or at least attempt to. For the, um. Just, just because we're showing off pretty much all of these events. Um, let's see if I can actually catch it right now. That would be, uh, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> okay. I'm not complaining. Yeah, if... If Gulpin had better, um better stats and move pools, I'd probably attempt to use it. Modest nature. It's got sticky hold. And it already comes packing sludge, which means, um, with that and the modest nature, that's actually pretty damn impressive for a Pokemon that you can get within the first hour of this game. But like I said, there is um, a poison type that I'm actually looking forward to using instead. So, sorry Gulpin, you're joining the other in the uh, PC for now. Now, could go left. I'm not going to just yet. Because I'm going to investigate this house. Uh, nothing in there. And we actually want to fight this trainer here. For reasons we'll see once we beat her. It's not because she has a pick a pack apparently now. Finally have rollout. Okay. Eh, 
Eh, do I do the fence curl trick for first? Nah. We'll just go for it. talk to her again she will give us a rose incense so for those that start with a grass type you now have a very potent boosting item for your grass moves that's very nice uh, continuing on if we go in here here. There's nothing in here. Uh, we'll ignore him for now. Go up here. We can talk to this girl with the Crookatot. And we have someone else come in. This is Shelly. She is the bug type gym leader. Uh, we'll be seeing her again in the near future. But she's basically going to say that Crookatot is. Basically just not getting any exercise, and its trainer can't really go out, so... Free Crookatot! If we were to choose no, um, Shelly would take the Crookatot with her instead. Uh, but it's not like Crookatot's really that good of a Pokemon. I mean, it starts at level 3. Uh, Shed Skin is a nice ability, though. I think that's the one that becomes technician, though, so, yeah. Fortunately, uh, we're not going to be using Krikatoon or Krikatot. Uh, one other thing we will do is, before we head inside, I'm actually going to change it back to Rain. Because once we go under the bridge, we got a Pampor up there. Uh, Pam, this is another one of those uh, either or scenarios. If it's not Pam Poor, it'll be Pan Seer. But we've got a trainer here to fight before we can get that Pam Poor. Now, with uh, the Pam Poor, you have to have to battle and catch it. Pan Seer, it'll just join you just so that it can uh, keep out of the rain. And again, it, this will only happen if, it's, if it is currently raining. So, this is one of those situations where, like I was explaining, certain events will only take place during certain uh, conditions. 90% of the time, that's weather. Let me out. Oh, yeah, that's right. It gets fake out. I keep forgetting about that. Okay. Now, you, one thing about um, this early stage in the in the game, a lot of the Pokemon that you get is through these in-game events, um, outside of where you can catch them, right outside of the, uh, the Grand Mall there, where we've got Bidoof. Uh, but there are other areas that we can go to to catch wild Pokemon. Um, we'll be seeing that in the, uh, in the near future. Uh, I'm actually going to heal up Bidoof real quick. That should be enough. I mean, it's only a pan pour. A level 10 pan pour, that is. Uh, so, yeah, if you didn't start with a water type and you end up getting pan pour in this uh, event, it's okay. It's better options, honestly. Um, alternatively, if you didn't pick a fire starter and you get pan seer. It's probably the only fire type you'll be seeing for a uh, decent amount. I think the. Actually, let me rephrase. It's the uh, the only fire type you'll be seeing before you 
take on the uh, the first gym, which is Julia, as people may have uh, surmised by this point. Man, that pamphlet an Orenberry bitch. You know what? I'm just gonna chuck a Pokeball at it, see what happens. <clears throat> Thankfully, it's not raining inside, so we didn't, it didn't get that boost. It's just one of those attacks where it's like, okay, how many times can they take Growl and clone it into different moves? It's a personal, uh, personal gripe of mine, honestly. Alright, so we got the Pampor, and um, I think that's going to be a good place to uh, end this. So, um, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe for more great content. Uh, feel free to use the uh, code below at PokemonAwesome.com to uh, save 10% off all purchases of $20 or more. And until then, we will see you guys next time.